Okay, Midori is out of action. Uh, looks like this episode is going to focus more on the Class 1B kid, uh, Iron Fist. Let's see how they take out these villains. I like his video game metaphors. Mm, that's true. Hmm. Let's hope they can pull this off. Are they trying to steal Bakugo and turn him into a villain rather than kill him? Is that why they targeted him? He's on the list for a different reason than Midoriya? The pussycats know that's one of the reasons they're here. Half the pussycats are already taken out, and Aizawa's already taken out. Well, they made it look like he's already taken out. Step up, kid. My legs are fine. Yeah, that's an understatement. There we go. Got him quick. Whoa! Whoa! What? How's he make the fire then? Only Vlad King is here. Oh, he can double up. He's using this guy's power to make a copy of himself. So the fire is his quirk. The melting was the other guy's power. They studied you first, dude. They knew you'd be here. They got the info. Nice, Midoriya. There we go. Hit. Here we go. Now they're going to get taken out. Dude, that's a very official sounding statement. By permission of the pro hero eraser head. Use your powers. Ooh. They have to. There's like 10 villains here. I think that together the classes can take them out, though, without anybody dying. Well, we don't know all the villains' powers yet. You better be scared in that case. Ah. Ideological differences in the team here. Nice. He can't do that. That's impossible. Yeah, he's he's already going after them. Yeah, you don't know their powers. Oh, it comes out of his mouth. Ugh. That's kind of gross. Oh. Oh, his that's his teeth. <laughs> We've got permission to punch people. That's because it's due to a quirk, and the quirk user is here. There we go. It's the dude with the big gas mask and, like, uh, army helmet. Punch that guy. No more gas. Dude, and Yagirozu created all these gas masks, so she's responsible for every bit of fighting back that these students can do. Get him. Mm -hmm. A little romance in our sidebar class here. That is a school uniform that that guy's wearing. How did he sense them, I wonder? Oh, whoops. Yeah, but a bullet won't hurt him. His body's made of steel. That's the first gun we've seen, I think, in this. Uh-oh, the gas mask. 
Yeah, quirks aren't always the best thing. A gun is still a good tool. This is a guy who didn't get into UA and it crushed him. Turned him evil. Oh, it's a revolver. So if he hasn't reloaded, he's only got two more shots. Or one? He reloaded. He said three, no two. So maybe there is a third student who's about to be there. Yeah, but she can grow her hand. Yeah. There we go. Fan hands. Boom. You're done. Go beyond, baby. There we go. So got the gas guy. That's two villains out of the ten down. Yeah, he's a kid. Now, how many of these villains are going to get captured and how many of them are going to get away still? Because I don't think the muscle guy is going to be there when they go to get him. Oh, Dark Shadow went crazy. Whoa! Whoa. That's messed up. That's not what they need right now. So now not only are there eight more villains left to fight, but Dark Shadow's in their way too. I don't know how this is going to work out. There's a lot of students that could help defeat the villains. But we haven't even seen... I mean, we haven't, we haven't even seen half of the villain group in action. I think we have seen half, actually five. Because there the, there's the gas guy... The muscle guy, those two are already gone. There's the magnetism guy who had the big, like, heavy rod. He's already taken out. The lizard guy who worships Stain, he's already taken out. So that's four. But then we've got the guy who makes copies and the guy with the staples in his face. That's five and six. They're not taken out. Uh, the girl with who uses knives haven't seen her yet and then the other three haven't seen what they they're doing yet so we're we're in for still quite a bit on this story arc they're not nearly out of the woods yet 